once you've actually got through, you've got your models, you're on the board, you have to play the game. Mm -hmm. Right, so turn sequence? Yes, you have four phases of the game. You have a preparation phase where any effects that have lasted from the previous round, things like poison or if you're on fire or something like that there, you have to deal with with poison. You have to take some saves and things at the start of the game. Right, uh, uh, next up. Then you have your initiative phase where we both roll for initiative and basically the lower number the better. The person who wins this roll gets to choose to go first in the next phase, the activation phase. Right. In the activation phase, we move you go, I go, one unit at a time. Right. And then you have your end phase, which is the end of the turn. Here we have our models out, all ready to fight. We've been marching towards each other. Right, so well. we have no preparation. There's no lingering effects here. Mm -hmm. So we're directly on to the activation phase where we roll our dice uh -huh. and we see uh, I got a 15. I got a 14. Justin just about wins that. Excellent. So, so Justin here can go first or he can go second. Right, so if I wanted to, I could point to your brute and say, right, I want you to activate him first. Yes, Justin here has won the roll, so he can go first with his guys, or he can go, uh, Daryl's got a unit there and a tactically I strong point. I basically, so I want to force you to move him before I maybe move into his charge. You could, at this point, force me to go, uh, you're going first, Daryl, and you're doing that unit first. Right. In a three or four player game, you could pick anybody and go, I'm forcing you, say, or Sam, you go first and you move that unit. Which right, I and think if that unit sitting right next to me is obviously having to attack me. Yes, or if it's sitting right next to another guy, Aye. he's going to have to attack me. So them. You're, you're forcing your opponent to use a tactic against another opponent. Yeah, uh, to possibly here, waste a unit. here you'd be forcing some of my units. I don't see so much advantage in a two player game, but there mm. is some. But especially in a big multiplayer game, it'd be, gr be great to try and force the other, try and encourage Aye. the other guys to fight each other, and then you go last, you help out. Well, I'm let's keep it simple this time. I'm just going to activate my coils, okay? You're going to go first, your yeah, coils, right? I'm just right? going to activate my coils. You're, at this point, you check how many activation points you have. I have three. Three. So at this point, Justin can do his move, 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 shoot, and so on. Right. Uh, and do I have to declare them? Uh, you, you activate the unit. You do yep. your first activation, yep. which is... So I'll activate the unit. So first one is just going to move both of them up uh -huh. three. They have a three-inch movement, so Justin can get Justin's moving them up here. Uh huh. Uh, Justin's coils have the advantage of they have shooty and they have close combat. Uh huh. So um, Justin's second activation. What are you going to do for this? I'm going to shoot. Right at, at your wasteland warriors. At my warriors. At uh -huh. this point, we have to work out. You have a target priority oh, okay. of a ring of ten inches. So my warriors are just in, but my brute is also in as well. Right. This means at least one of your guys have to shoot at the target priority. Now, right. you work out your target number for each of the squads you want to shoot at, mm -hmm. and, you, and you have to shoot at the one that you've got the best target priority to. Now, okay. this is where cover comes in. Here, we've agreed that this is the softer cover, yep. and this is the hard cover. Yep. There's a modifier to your target number for shooting, depending on cover, and you always take okay. the best one but they don't multiply, so you can't have hard, hard, and soft, Aye. you know, so. Aye, so basically, say I'm shooting through a piece of hard cover and a piece of soft cover. You would just take the hard cover modifier. Aye, because that's giving you the biggest save. Yep, okay. so here, my brute is behind a wall, which we would say is hard cover. Yep. So you'd be minus four on your target number. Right. So my brute has a defense of six. AS five. So that'd be 11 minus four, so you'd be on sevens mm -hmm. for him. But to shoot at my Wasteland Warriors, they have a defense of five, which is slightly worse mm -hmm. for so them. Ten. Uh, and you have five. So ten. But minus you'd be minus two, two. Is eight. So you'd be on then eight to shoot at them. So at least one of your models, I would say both here to keep things simple, is going to shoot at my Wasteland Warriors. All right, fair so enough. At this point, Justin's target number is eight. Yep. The other modifiers you have to take into account is as well, for each four inches, you're minus one. Uh -huh. So. You'd be on the sixes to hit them guys. It would still be sixes to hit the brute here as well. So you'll yeah. get the choice. Well, I'll just I'll shoot at the wasteland warriors simply because they're handy, and it'll save us any arguments about shooting, cover. Sh shooting's great in yep. uh, open ground, but whenever you get cover and everything, it starts to become hard. Aye. So Justin's on sixes here. Yep, uh, so you're spending an action point to, for to each shoot. guy to fire yep. their gun once. Uh huh. And oh, oh. A seven. 
you just failed. If Justin had managed to get me here, say he got a couple of sixes, or well, ones are a bit painful. Uh, if, two if, fours. If you get a one, there's no armor save from that. Oh. So it's, we've corrected Justin Dice here that he rolled a couple of fours. So he has caused two hits on me. Now you have to work out the weapon's power to my defense, my yep. armor. So it's six times two. Oh, six deck. times two. And I have an armor of 14. You've caused two hits. Mm -hmm. So I have to roll two dice for each one of these hits. And that, get eight that, or lower on each. Yep, you have six and I have 14, so I have to get eight. Mm -hmm. I roll the two dice for the first hit. And I got uh, one of them to 17, so one guy's dead. Uh, and I roll the two dice for the second hit. And I got an eight and a three. Okay. So one guy died. Right. At this point, guys, even if you fail both of these, you, it still only costs you one wound. That two times six just yeah. means it's a power of six, but you have to take two. Right, and is it saves. Only, it's only going on to one guy as well, yeah? Yeah, well, each one, each hit is Aye. allocated to one guy. Yeah. But I have to roll two dice for that one guy to try and keep my life. That's painful. Uh, the the times two weapons are very good mm -hmm. at shooting. I haven't lost half my squad, so I don't have to take any mm -hmm. physique tests to see if I stay or if I fancy running away. But right. that's the basics of the shooting. Yeah. You get your range, you modify it, uh, you get your target numbers, and you shoot. I've yeah. lost a guy. I don't mind. Right. That's... Uh, as easy as shooting is, guys. Yep, that's basically it. Although I still have one action point left. Uh huh. And I'm going to use it to move. You're so going to move. Give it a tip. Uh, okay. Now, I think I'm actually going to jump in next to this wall and see if I can snag a little hard cover. Yeah. Uh, Justin at this point is trying to gain some cover from my guys maybe shooting back. They're up against the wall. The, the other reason here, Justin couldn't have fired again because uh, your weapons have an RF1. Of one that basically means they've got one shot. Yeah. If you could have, would you have stood there and shot again? Considering that I could have made you take a test and made you run away, yeah. Perhaps, yeah. But Justin's decided this is the good thing about this guy, especially when you have three action points. If you're behind a wall, you can move out, shoot, and move, move back. back in again, or move out and go shoot, 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 or shoot, yeah. shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you're just standing toe to toe with something that's about to hit you in combat, it's just. Pop, 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 if you have the RF to do it. Yeah, generally most of the weapons only have a one or a two. Mm. Very few of the weapons, bar the close combat ones. I just can constantly who, who go and just go keep and go. fighting. But that's, that's the basics of shooting, guys. In the next video, we'll do a little bit more movement and we'll get on to some combat. We'll see you then. <laughs>